do you worry about bots on the internet? Given given these ideas, given how exciting they are, do you worry about bots on Twitter being not the, the stupid bots that we see now with the crypto bots, but the bots that might be out there actually that we don't see, that they're interacting in interesting ways? So this kind of system feels like it should be able to pass the I'm not a robot click button, whatever. Mm. Um, which do you actually understand how that test works? I don't quite like uh, there's there's a there's a checkbox or whatever that you click. Yeah. It's presumably tracking. Oh, I see. S- like mouse movement and the timing and so on. Yeah. So exactly this kind of system we're talking about should be able to pass that. So w- yeah, what do you feel about um, bots that are language models plus have some interactability and are able to tweet and reply and so on? Do you worry about that world? Uh, yeah, I think it's always been a bit of an arms race uh, between sort of the attack and the defense. Uh, so the attack will get stronger, but the defense will get stronger as well, uh, our ability to detect that. How do you defend? How do you detect? How do you know that your Karpathy account on Twitter is is human? How would you approach that? Like if people were claim, you know, uh, how would you defend yourself in the court of law that I'm a human um, this account is here. Yeah, at some point, I think uh, it might be, I think the society uh, society will evolve a little bit. Like we might start signing, digitally signing uh, some of our correspondence or, you know, things that we create. Uh, right now, it's not necessary, but maybe in the future it might be. I do think that we are going towards a world where we share, we share the digital space with uh, AIs. Synthetic beings. Yeah. And uh, they will get much better, and they will share our digital realm, and they'll eventually share our physical realm as well. It's much harder. Uh, but that's kind of like the world we're going towards. And most of them will be benign and helpful, and some of them will be malicious, and it's going to be an arms race trying to detect them. So, I mean, the worst isn't the AIs. The worst is the AIs pretending to be human. Mm-hmm. So my, I don't know if it's always malicious. There's a, obviously a lot of malicious applications, but yeah, it could also be, you know, if I was an AI, I would try very hard to pretend to be human because we're yeah. in a human world. Yeah. I, w- I wouldn't get any respect as an AI. Yeah. I want to get some love and respect. I don't think the Twitter. problem is intractable. People are uh, people are thinking about the proof of personhood. Yes. And uh, we might start digitally signing our stuff and uh, we might all end up having like, a, yeah, basically some, some solution for proof of personhood. It doesn't seem to me intractable. It's just something that we haven't had to do until now. But I think once the need like really starts to emerge, which is, soon. <laughs> I think people will think about it much more. So, but that too will be a race because um, obviously you can probably uh, spoof or fake the the, the proof of uh, personhood. Mm-hmm. So you have to try to figure out how to... Probably. Um, I mean, it's weird that we have like social security numbers and mm-hmm. like passports and mm-hmm. stuff. It seems like it's harder to fake stuff in the physical space. Mm-hmm. But in the yes. digital space, it just feels like it's going to be very tricky. Very tricky to out. Because um, it, it seems to be pretty low cost to fake stuff. What are you going to put an AI in jail mm-hmm. for like trying to f- <laughs> use a fake uh, fake personhood proof? You, can, I mean, okay, fine. You'll put a lot of AIs in jail, but there'll be more AIs, arbitrary, like exponentially more. The cost of creating a bot is very low. Uh, uh, unless there's some kind of way to track accurately, like you're not allowed to create any program without showing, uh, tying yourself to that program. Like you, any program that runs on the internet, you'll be able to uh, trace every single human program that was involved with that program. Right. Yeah, maybe you have to start declaring when, uh, you know, we have to start drawing those boundaries and keeping track of, okay, uh, what are digital entities versus human entities? And uh, what is the ownership of human entities and digital entities and uh, something like that? Um, I don't know, but I'm, I think I'm optimistic that this is uh, this is uh, possible. And it's some, in some sense, we're currently in like the worst time of it because um, all these bots suddenly have become very capable, uh, but we don't have defenses yet built up mm-hmm. as a society. And but I think uh, that doesn't seem to me intractable. It's just something that we have to deal with. It seems weird that the Twitter bot, like really crappy Twitter yeah. bots are so numerous. Like, yes. is it, so I presume that the engineers at Twitter are very good. So it seems like what I would infer from that uh, is it seems like a hard problem. It, it, they're probably catching, all right, if I were to sort of steel man the case, 
it's a hard problem and there's a huge cost to uh, false positive to to removing a post by somebody that's not a bot. That creates a very bad user experience. So they're very cautious about removing. So maybe it's, uh, and maybe the bots are really good at learning what gets removed and not such that they can stay ahead of the removal process very mm -hmm. quickly. My impression of it, honestly, is uh, there's a lot of blowing for it. I mean, yeah, just that's what I. It's not subtle. <laughs> it's my impression of it. It's not subtle. But you have, to, yeah, that's my impression as well. But it it feels like maybe you're seeing the the tip of the iceberg. Maybe the number of bots is in like the trillions, and you have to like, yeah. just it's a constant assault of bots, and you, you yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, yeah. I, you have to steel man the case because the bots I'm seeing are pretty like obvious. I could r write a few lines of code that catch yeah. these bots. I mean, definitely there's a lot of low hanging fruit, but I will say I agree that if you are a sophisticated actor, you could probably create a pretty good bot right now. Um, you know, using tools like GPTs uh, because it's a language model. You can generate faces that look quite good now, uh, and you can uh, do this at scale. And so I think um, yeah, it's quite plausible, and it's going to be hard to defend.